teach you how to milk a goat. And the first thing you do is, of course, let your goat out and put her on the stanchion. She'll usually jump right up. It's helpful to have some feed so that she has good incentive to get up there. Then you just lock her head in. And if she's well trained, she'll stay right there and not move too much. I'm just let you know. So I have here a bucket of warm soapy water and also my milk bucket, which I have the clean washcloths in to dry her off with. So what I'm going to do is first I wash her udder to get rid of any dirt or hair that might be on it. So see, not too dirty, not too bad. You want to wash the whole udder, all the way up, right, right up to her belly. Just clean the whole thing up really well. And I don't want to put, or you want to use warm water. And I try not to put too terribly much soap in it because if you put in too much, it'll dry out their udder, and that's not good. This also helps to encourage the goat to let down the warmth and wetness um, triggers them to do that. You definitely don't want to leave it wet because then you'll get all that bacteria that drip down with the dirty water into the milk. You definitely don't want that. So you want to dry her thoroughly as well. And if you're doing multiple goats, it's a good idea to use a fresh drying towel for each goat. And if you're doing very many, then you'd want to use a fresh washing towel. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to describe the first squirt from each tea. Because there's a lot of bacteria that can get built up in that first squirt. And since you can't wash inside the teat when you actually clean off the udder, it's good to just get rid of that first squirt of milk. So, some people put it in a little cup. You could do it different ways. Usually I just kind of shoot it out the end of the barn. <laughs> and then you can get to actually milking. And a goat's udder, a goat is usually very easy to milk, as, as long as their teats aren't too short. Nellies are a little short, not too bad, but their udders are much softer than a cow's, and their teats are much softer, and so it's easier to milk them. So, when you go to milk, you take your hand and you kind of push the milk down in there. I usually massage the udder while I'm milking. So you kind of push the milk down in there, and then you close two fingers. It can be your thumb and your forefinger or it can be your thumb and your middle finger. You close them on the teat like that and then you close the other fingers as well. Easy. Close it off like that and then you squeeze with those fingers. Close, squeeze. Close, squeeze. You don't want to tug on their udder too much. You try to close and squeeze on the teat, not on the udder, which can be hard if their teats are short. But you just close and squeeze, close and squeeze, like that. Or you could also milk like this. I do not like milking like this. Usually I support the udder if I do. And you can just close your 
fingers on the teeth and slide it down like that. It's called stripping. If she kicks, you squeeze right here, just above her hot. There's a tendon that goes right along the goat's leg here. And if you squeeze that, they can't really kick. See how her leg goes in when I squeeze? That prevents them from kicking. And pretty soon they'll learn it doesn't do any good to kick. If she's being a pain, put her leg where you want it and make her keep it there. And eventually she'll figure out that it's not worth it. So she's gone back to eating now. This is how she usually stands. She's perfectly still for me like this. She's usually pretty good, but I don't think she likes the camera. Wait, your turn, Glossy. Since I was milking with only one hand a minute ago, this side's pretty much out already. Listen. So, milk with both hands, or you can, you don't have to. I prefer to milk with both hands, it gets it done quicker. But, milk as much as you can, just like that. Then, when there's not really anything much coming out, see, there's hardly anything coming out now. Then you can take to massaging, you kind of rub on both sides, and you slap. And I'm actually slapping quite gently, it looks like I'm being very rough, but I'm not. And see, that gets all that milk that was still stuck up here, down into the bottom of the udder where you can milk it out. And then just massage, slap, massage some more, kind of slap it. That way you get all the milk out. And this not only helps you get as much milk into the house as possible, but it, it helps her to produce more. Because if you leave milk in, her body gets the message, oh, my baby must not be very hungry, I don't need to produce as much. And so she won't produce as much milk. But if you get it all out, the message her body gets is, oh, my baby's starving hungry, I need to make some more. So it helps encourage her to produce more milk.